Alright guys, today we're going to teach you how to do a popular exercise, the DB chest pullover. Leave a thumbs up if you guys are excited to learn how to do this exercise to actually hit your chest properly. Let's dive into it. Alright guys, so a common video and question about this is, is this an exercise for the chest or back? Primarily, I use this as a chest exercise. Lats will be a good accessory mover here. They're going to get a good stretch. You're not so much going to be working your lats as much as you would with a lat pull down or a cable row. They're just kind of stretching and they're there to assist this weight. The key here is to get a big kind of expansion in the chest and a huge contraction alongside that while getting that nice big drag and really feeling it out. I'm going to show you the key tips to make sure it's done properly, so let's dive into that. Okay, so a couple things when you guys do it. I like to do a triangle grip to grab the dumbbell on the head of the dumbbell. Usually the starting position will look something like this. You're gonna lift it up, kick it back to your chest, grab the top like this, and push upward. From here, you wanna extend nice and far back while being in control. You can see here to about here is a good point. And you're only coming up to this point. The reason for this is here my chest is still engaged. Here I'm taking all the tension off, being put on my elbow, my arms in a straight line, it's supporting it. It's not so much on my chest. Whereas if you drag from here to here and you squeeze that chest, at this point is when you should be squeezing your chest together. Really use your shoulders to push that chest together. You get a nice contraction. So nice and low, squeeze your chest together. Nice and low, squeeze that chest. Don't come too far. So your range of motion is literally this. From here, full extension to full contraction. Oh, I got that tip about how far to go inward from your boy Kai Green. He's huge, he knows what's up. And when I did that small change, this changed this exercise completely. So I have that strong posture back once again, going as far back as my chest expands. If I go back any further, I'm just putting too much tension on the lat and then it can become a lat exercise. So just extend that chest, come up and you can see full contractions here. If I go here, I'm losing it. And I'm going to be putting all the weight onto my arm because when you're just holding something straight with your arm, it's just balancing it. That's all. Putting a little bit of tension on the shoulder, but not the movement you want, which is the chest. Use a lighter weight, do a little bit of reps, and make sure you're getting a good squeeze with this. I'm going to show you three common mistakes and how to fix them. So common mistake number one, I see far too many people doing this. They're actually bending at the elbow. They're turning this into a skull crusher, a tricep extension, and they're not actually contracting the chest, which is what we're trying to do. So you guys want to make sure you have a slight bend in the elbow at all times. Your arms aren't fully straight, but they're also not bending throughout the movement. And common mistake number two, even though Josh already touched on it, I'm going to let my boy Kai explain it. Wow. So as you guys saw with Kai Green, he was correcting Jeff's side there because Jeff wanted to do this natural pull forward to here and get that balance. Kai said, just get that contraction and get out. So you can see he was getting that squeeze and he said, get back at it. A lot of people use this standard position here, whether it's a skull crash here, a dumbbell pullover to rest, kind of take a nap in between sets. Whereas you want to stretch out, get that full contraction, which may be here for you. And sometimes there are deviants to the rule. It may be forward, so it might be here. That's fine. Wherever it is, hit it and get out. Don't do that little bit of rest and straightening of that arm is mistake number two. Keep the tension on the muscle at all times. All right guys, number three, your last mistake of the day, and this is a big one. It's going too far back, so less is more sometimes, guys. You don't always have to do these crazy ranges of motion, you just need a full range of motion. Any full range of motion is where you fully extend and contract a muscle. That's how you're gonna work it optimally. If you guys are doing any more, chances are once again, you're taking the tension off. So like we said, going forward, you can take the tension off the chest. You can do the same thing by reaching too far back. By recruiting so far back, you're gonna really change your lats from being the accessory movers to being the primary movers. And that is not what you want if you're targeting the chest, if you're doing a chest dumbbell pullover. So once again, you wanna just go far back enough where I have that full extension, not so far back that it's gonna cause kind of like my scapulas to retract, my chest to push forward and my lats to take over. Especially you're gonna get this wonky transition time when you have it all in your lats and then you kind of buckle it forward to your chest. It's gonna strain your shoulder. It's gonna just feel very uncomfortable, unnatural. It's gonna be lifting you back and you're gonna potentially harm yourself, especially if you're doing too much weight. So avoid that by doing the form properly as we previously demonstrated by just fully elongating and contracting. That's it. 
Thank you so much for checking this out and enjoying kind of learning another form video with us. Uh, we're online fitness coaches, guys, so if you guys want really effective programming, you need help with weight loss, you want a good routine that will actually help you gain muscle, lose fat, and achieve your goals faster, contact us, go to the links in the bio, head to our website, www.clossfitness.com. Be sure to check out our other form videos and fix that form now. We'll see you in the next video, peace.